CataractCoach.com. Centrally attached Zyler fibers. This makes the capsorexis more challenging. You can see the capsorexis is getting stuck there at the Zyler attachment sites. So we sped the video up a little bit here. And our guest surgeon is an expert, Val Apostolop from the Netherlands, and making a few incisions here. This is an unusual thing. I've not seen many patients with this condition. So you can see there's the tripan blue dye going in to stain the lens capsule. Patient is has obviously a very white cataract, very opaque. So spreading out that dye a little bit here, here comes the viscoelastic, and that looks great. And you can see, if you look very carefully, there are some Zymer fibers there. So let's see what's gonna happen here. So going in, injecting viscoelastic with the left hand while the right hand does a needle decompression. Oh, smart move. Double duty there. Look at that needle decompression, aspirating with that needle while the left hand is injecting viscoelastic to keep that AC pressurized. Smart, smart move. Now, let's see, to do the rexus, watch this. As the rexus starts to tear, it comes on and hits that anterior zonular fiber, which is very much anterior, very central. And look, it gets stuck. So he has to pull the other direction and then go past that one. And so the goal is obviously to make that rexus just inside those attachment points. So again, a very unusual case here. I've not seen many cases like this. So again, the rexus may end up smaller than you anticipate because you really don't want to get stuck on that. So where that zonular attachment point is, it will not allow the rexus to go past it or, past, or through that. So you'll have to go inside of it. So here you go, getting that done. And so it's a little bit smaller rexus than anticipated. But that's what you have to do in this case. And I think that'll be okay still. So continuing it and finishing it right there, and pulling it in, I hope. Very nicely done and completing it. So in this kind of case, lucky this category doesn't appear to be too dense. Plus the, our guest surgeon here is obviously very experienced in these. So now that you've got that Rex, is trying to make it as big as you can and just you take what you can get. And there we go, a little bit more, and we're done. Nope, still going, I love it. Just trying to make it that maximal size. So now the chopper going to separate out the, the you know, instead of a hydro dissection, you got a manual dissection there with the chopper. Let's see the phaco probe going inside here. Chopper going in as well, surgeon sitting superiorly, but yet operating temporally. And just vacuuming this out, yeah, it's not a lot of density here, so it's pretty easy. There's some HPMC to coat the cornea. So a nucleus like this, just kind of lifting it up, mostly vacuum, almost no ultrasonic energy is really needed here. This is probably a younger patient, really very little nuclear sclerosis, mostly just whitening of the cortex there. And so here you go, bimanual IA, even easier approach. So in a case like this, yeah, you don't even need the FACO probe because you don't need ultrasonic energy. You can just use the IA. And if any pieces get stuck, just, you know, rub the two instruments together to push them down the port of the aspirator. So going in the capsule bag, using the infusion, look at that, using the infusion to separate out that nuclear or lens material, that's beautiful. A lot of great tricks you can learn from other expert surgeons here. And so let's see how you can clean up that capsule bag. It's going to be a little tough. Sometimes in a white cataract, some of these changes are fibrotic. You can't get all of them off. But uh, cleaning up pretty nicely here. So yeah, I've not seen a whole lot of these cases where the zonular fibers are attached that centrally onto the anterior lens cap. So usually it's way out, right, near the equator or maybe in a millimeter or two, but to come this far in is unusual. But that's the beauty of what we do, right? The variations in human anatomy. No two cataract cases are ever the same. They're all a little bit different. So now again, going in with the bimanual IA, trying to just clean up some of that lens material. And again, on a case like this, especially when the patient started off with that terrible vision of almost nothing, right? Like hand motion or wind perception. So in a case like that, it's a, you know, you can always yag them later. It's not that big of a deal. The delta before and after is going to be tremendous. Here comes the lens. I'm going to get that in the capsule bag. Now, when the lens goes in, we'll see what the size of the Rex has ended up being. It's a six millimeter optic, I believe, on this lens. So get that in the capsule bag and have that open up. And so, yeah, not too bad on the rex, it's about five millimeters. So we're, we were, he was able to get that rex just about as large as it needed to be. And this patient will have a very nice outcome. So interesting case, centrally attached zonular fibers. Thanks for watching.